this is to bring you the answer discussion of grade 10 science paper 6 so the question paper consists of 10 mcqs to be written answers within 15 minutes so let's look at the questions the first one a group of cells with a common origin organized to perform specific function e known as the basic building unit of organism is cell a number of cells collectively forms of tissues and this tissue is what having the common origin organized to perform specific functions so the answer should be number three tissue question number two the first person to make the microscopic observation of the cells of organisms was you know this question could be asked in two different ways expecting two different answers here the question asks you who is the first person to observe the cells of commonly organisms so that is done by robert hook and the second type of this question is who was the first person to observe the cells of microorganisms and it is a specific question for that you have to give the answer anthony van leeuwenhoek but here it is common it's asking you the organisms accordingly the answer should be robert hook number three and question number three which can be noticed when human cheek cells are sent through microscopic observations the answers given here are a large vacuole at the center only one membrane in chloroplast, only one membrane surrounds the cell, nucleus is pushed towards periphery. Human cheek cells belong for animal cells. So what you have to concern here is you have to compare the features of the structures of animal cell and plant cell. You see a large central vacuole. It cannot be seen in animal cells. So you have to omit out that answer. Only one membrane in chloroplast, that might be okay, but chloroplast is not present in animals so second one also have to omit out and the third one only one membrane surrounds the cell that's quite fine right you know cell is surrounded by one membrane that is the cell membrane or plasma membrane so let's look at the fourth answer also nucleus pushed towards periphery and that also belong for home plant cell accordingly what should be the answer answer number three only one membrane surrounds the cell okay question number four the set of organelles present not only in plants but in animals too. That means the organelles which are common for both plant and animal cells. Right? So accordingly, you see the first one, cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm. Cell wall you can't take here, that is present only in plant cells. The other two are okay. And number two, cytoplasm, mitochondria, ribosomes. It looks like the answer here. Let's look at the third one too. Chloroplast, cell wall, a large vacuole. That would be the answer if the question asks you what are the organelles present only in plant cells. Okay, because all three are present only in plant cells, not in animal cells. So number four, bulky complex, endoplasmic reticulum, fine, they are present in both plant and animal cells, but chloroplast present only in plant cells. According to what should be the answer, answer should be number two, cytoplasm, mitochondrion, and ribosomes, these are present in both plant and animal cells. And question number five, the main constituent of cell wall is cell wall is present only in plant cells and this cell wall is made up of cellulose the main component of cell wall is cellulose additionally that it contains hemicellulose and pectin so the answer should be number three cellulose question number six the organelles that act as the powerhouse in plant cells either it may be the animal cell or plant cell whatever it is the powerhouse is always mitochondrion so you might be confused with, since it is given as plant cells, should it be mitochondrion or chloroplast? Remember, chloroplast is not the powerhouse. That is a place of photosynthesis takes place. Accordingly, what should be the answer? Mitochondrion. So the next question number seven, which is incorrect about the cell organelles is. Cell organelles, they are the tiny structures present in both plant and animal cells. So what are the statements given here? First one, ribosomes are attached to the surface of RER, but not SER. That is correct because when ribosomes are attached to endoplasmic reticulum, then only we name it as rough endoplasmic reticulum or else it is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So the first one is correct. Nucleus, chloroplast and mitochondrion are bimembrane bounded organelles. That's wrong here. It's because of bimembrane, it refers to there are two membranes. Okay, it is not seen in nucleus. Accordingly, number three, Ribosomes are made up of a large subunit and a small subunit. It is also correct. They do have two subunits, large and small. The cell sap of vacuoles contain water and iron and pigment. That's the next one. Is also correct because cell sap, it is the liquid form present inside the vacuole. 
and this contains water ions and pigments is also a correct statement so what is the incorrect statement here nucleus chloroplast and mitochondrion are bimembrane bounded organelles accordingly that is the answer for question number 7 and question number 8 which is not correct about homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes you take these are the chromosomes a pair of chromosomes which are having the same hereditary information and they are same in length size and the place of centromere location too where they are getting connected to. accordingly which is not correct about this is you see the first one they are same in length correct second one they are same in the centromere location is also correct third one they are obtained from the same parent is wrong because both the chromosomes in a pair of homologous chromosome okay each of them are obtained from each parent both mother and father so accordingly it cannot be the same parent so that is the wrong statement here let's look at the fourth one too they carry the same hereditary information same inherited characteristic is carried out by that's also correct according to what should be the answer here number three they are obtained from the same parent it is the incorrect statement question number nine in mitosis you see now the question is just ended up by in mitosis that means you have to understand here what is the most suitable statement explains or gives as a factor a point for this mitosis that is what you have to choose as the answer here so let's look at the answers four daughter cells are resulted at the end from a single mother cell that happens in meiosis not in mitosis mitosis only two daughter cells are resulted meiosis there are four daughter cells resulted it takes place in two divisions that also belong for meiosis. Mitosis takes place in only one division. It occurs in both haploid and diploid cells is the correct statement here because mitosis, since it maintains the same number of chromosomes within its two daughter cells resulted, it will be taking place in both haploid and diploid cells. But when it comes to meiosis, it takes place only in diploid cells. And look at the fourth answer too. Two unidentical daughter cells are resulted from a mother cell two unidentical this is the point where you mistake it is not identical unidentical that is wrong here okay both the daughter cells are identical in mitosis accordingly what is the only correct statement that is it occurs in both haploid and diploid cells so that should be the correct answer here and question number 10 which is not correct about zygote you can remember zygote is the very first cell formed up after the fertilization fusion of gamete cells Accordingly, it is the very first 2N cell, that means the diploid cell formed after the fertilization process, that is correct. Why do we say 2N cell? Because gamete cells are N cells, haploid cells. So, 2 gamete cells fused together, that means N plus N, and the result is zygote, it should be 2N, a diploid cell. So, it comprises of 23 pairs of chromosomes, is also correct. Why? 23 chromosomes from egg cell and 23 chromosomes from sperm cells combined together to form up the first zygote and that is 23 plus 23 46 23 pairs of chromosomes is also correct. it is considered to be a haploid cell that's wrong why we said now it is a 2n cell so it is the cell which gradually forms up into a multicellular organism is also correct so starting from this zygote step by step the cell division takes place and at last it will be resulting in a new bone offspring according to what is the correct answer here it is considered to be the haploid cell. So, number three is the answer here. Accordingly, these are the answers for MCQ questions in grade 10 science paper 6.